program is rated GE. Content carried in here is suitable for general family viewing. Naam, kila siku nakwambia juhudi zangu ndio huwa zinanipa nguvu na uhakika uh, na huwa napenda sana kwa sababu yani ukiweka juhudi tu kwenye maisha yani zinakufanyanga pia unajiamini sana juhudi huwa kitu kizuri sana e, japo unamtegemea pia mteremezi mwenyezi lakini pia unaweka juhudi ndio zinakupa nguvu na uhakika kwa sababu umeweka juhudi na unaamini mambo yatakuwa sawa karibu kwenye kipindi tena hii ni kitengo cha pili ama hiki ni kitengo cha pili tunafanikisha hiki kitengo kwa kuandalia makubwa kitu ambacho umekimisi kwa muda tunakuletea na kukupakulia alafu unabaki tuki ramba tu vidole kwa sababu ni utamu juu utamu niko naye Takid Master rais wa WKF Kenya ambaye kweli kwa kipindi hatujamuona lakini yuko hapa kwenye studio kwa kisha kwamba anatuambia ni nini ambacho amekuwa kipika ama amekuwa wapi hapo sawa yani sasa ni tega masikio kama ni mpenzi wa kickboxing kama unapenda mambo ya mixed martial uh, mixed martial arts yani hii hiki ni kitengo chako sasa kupata utamu na kusikia ni nini ambacho tumepangiwa na rais wa WKF Kenya kabla mwaka jana nadhani ilikuwa one of the best performing federation ambazo mimi niliweza ku encounter alifanya kazi nyingi sana zingatia nadhani ndio ulikuwa mwaka wa kwanza anazindua mambo mapya chini ya uongozi mpya na ni kweli alifanya makubwa sana na kufanya kwa mara ya kwanza watu wakazungumza kuhusu mchezo wa kickboxing wengi wakapata kuufahamu mchezo wa kickboxing nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu pia mimi nilipata fursa ya kufahamu huu mchezo zaidi na kusaidia we mtazamaji pia kuufahamu kwa kukuandalia pia vipindi ambazo kweli tuliangazia uh, different dynamics ama mambo mbalimbali mbali ya mchezo wa kickboxing nimekuwa na kina dada hapa ambao umetuonyesha mchezo wa kickboxing nimekuwa na watoto wachanga ambao pia wanajihusisha na mchezo wa kickboxing sawa pia na wanaume ama vigogo ambao kweli wanajihusisha na mchezo wa kickboxing mwaka jana nadhani alianza kuandaa michuano na kuru michuano pia Nairobi katika maeneo mbalimbali mbali. na kuandaa pia tu uh, zinaitwaje zile community action zile yani mambo ambayo unafanya kuimarisha jamii e, hasa nakumbuka moja ilikuwa katika maeneo ya Roai kuhakisha kwamba anahamasisha vijana kuhusiana na athari za kutumia dawa za kulevia sawa pia na mambo ya mazingira kwa hivyo ulikuwa ni one, one mwaka ambao unaweza sema World Kickboxing Federation Kenya ilikuwa na very many successful events J mwaka huu 2024 kunani ndio hii ama ndio haya masaya kujua mipango ya covid takid master hali vipi mzee karibu kwenye kipindi imekuwa ni muda tujaonana kwa kipindi wewe sasa nadhani ni miezi ngapi minne december tukuonana yani kama december tu tuliongea lakini sidhani tulionana january feb march sasa ni mwezi wa nadhani miezi nne mitano hali vipi naam Umepotelea wapi kwanza mzee bana? Najua mambo ni mengi. Naam. Eh, yeye ndiye sijawahi kumaliza. Eh, mambo ni mengi, muda mchache. Kuna pia trending mambo ni matatu. Sasa sijui kama yako yalikuwa matatu ama ni mengi. Naam. So yangu ni ile unajua pia saa zingine mzee unangangana lakini wewe vile unapanga sio vile mpango wako. Kwa hiyo nakumbuka ndio ni ambayo ilikuwa ilikuwa na kuru wa Oktoba. Na nilikuwa najua vizuri Disemba na Januari na hiyo Januari kwa jua saa kutakuwa na mioto hata zaidi. Naam. Lakini haikufika hivyo. Kwa hiyo ilienda ikakuwa imepata maumivu. Naam. Mwezi wa kwanza hivi yani tuseme Januari mpaka saa hizi saa ndio naanza kupata nafu tuseme hivyo shukuru mungu saa, eh, na shukuru mungu sana juu nimepata nafu na nimekuja kupata <coughs> nimekuja kurealize ya kuwa kumbe vitu vingine wangani mtu mwenyewe cause tangu niugue mpaka saa hizi federation 
hakuna any thing in a function kumaanisha ni mimi kama takid na naambia kwa watu kila siku WKF si mimi na si yangu lakini sawa wamefanya nione ni kama mimi mm. cause niko na secretary general niko na officials wengine head of referees nini but tangu niugue hata kuna kitu yote nimesikia inaweza fanywa na niliwapatia nafasi nikawaambia vizuri nyinyi mko ready kufanya chochote mnataka kufanya game ikiwa mimi naweza kuwa tu nawaelekeza nikiwa nyumbani mpaka nipate nafu ndio nije sasa nifanye na nyinyi pia but mzee wewe unajua <coughs> na, 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 i'm not taking away anything from arm of shu wengine ama kwenye wkf wa usika yeah. but wewe unajua setup ya Kenya vile ni ngumu alafu to be passionate eh we, tumeona is ju- just not enough i know wewe uko passionate kabisa na kickboxing and extreme combat sports i think wewe hata passion yako sijui hata naweza describe aje because you can you always go out of mimi nimekuona uki go out of your way not yeah. just with WKF hata wakati ulikuwa pande ile nyingine ukiwa se- organizing secretary nilikuwa na kuona una go out of your way over yeah. and over but sasa wewe unajua resource wise the, the, the extent unaendanga kutafuta miundo misingi za kuandaa michuano yeah. inaweza elemea watu wengine uh, unajua pia si patageti nimewahi kuwa na sponsor ndio maana muandaa hizi michuano kweli inakuwa gani kurudi kwa mfuko bro na mimi si sema ni na mihela ile ya at least queen wa hii kitu ile zaidi uanga naifanya tu kulingana mpango vile iko i think vile tu umesema ni passion i love pia nilikwambia vile nianza nikiwa 12 years mimi nilikuwa na hiyo passion ya kichote nimeshikilia na yeah. kufanya niko hivyo in general martial arts cause nikianza nianza na karate nikakuja taekwondo nikaingia kickboxing nimefanya mingi hapo ndani so na kwa watu na passion ya kutaka kuona in future ni nini watu watanikumbuka naye ya kuwa the youth of this country wanapata hii kitu through WKF ama through nini hata ningekuwa KKF bado it doesn't matter what matters ni ni nini we haja yako kubwa sana ni vitu zifanyike yeah, so it doesn't matter uko pande gani hata saa hizi muambie yeah. watu hata saa hii mtu akaniambia takid <coughs> niko ready kuja kuwa kama president na wewe utu organize yetu vitu vile zina niko ready kuachilia hiyo position mtu aninijuu haja yangu sio uh, presidency eti uongozi hivyo haja yangu ni kuelekeza watu vizuri na kuona hii kitu Yaani future yetu kwa hiki kitu itakuja kuwaje. Cuz ukiangalia vizuri hata athletics kianza. Haikuanza vile size iko. Athletics kianza wengine walikuwa wakimbia mgutuko. Sasa hiyo na kwenye imefika. Rugby kianza Kenya haikuwa hivyo. Eh walikuwa wanaenda e, kitawana. E, mtu kama 100 meters Kenya tu kufikiriaga tunaweza fika kwenye manya la metu. Manya la hataki wa Nairobi uni. Unasikia alijaribu na mbinu zote vile anaweza ingia hapo alikuwa na zuili wa mali na wenye yeah. mambo yenye fulani unaona. Lakini alienda katoboa njia passion na saa hii kwenye amefika ni place tofauti. Ndio maana naambia watu hivi. Mimi aja yangu pia ni kutaka kuwa na kitu imeenda mbali na ni vizuri umesema tu kama ingekuwa size kickboxing ni kama FKF yeah. Athletics Kenya Kenya Rugby Union gani name them sasa ungesikia vizuri sana hata vile nilikuwa nimeugua ofisi ingekuwa inaendelea kwa nini kuna kitu wengine wanalama ni kweli lakini watu hawatakagi kitu ina inajinua wanataka kitu ishajinua tayari ndio walambe pale ni kweli so hiyo sio mbinu ya kufanya kazi i think kazi ni number one passion alafu hayo mengine yote juu passion pia huleta pesa ukiweka bid juu mimi najua at the end of the day kila mtu yani uko tu consistent eh, uko tu consistent yeah. so uh, mipango ni mengi lakini sasa vile nimeanza kurudi najua tutayafanya na nashukuru sana KUTV juu na hata nyinyi ndio wa kwanza kuni host na mkiendelea hivyo na 
hakuna siku yenye WKF italala ama wacha WKF sports zote zitainuka tu. Ni kweli. Yeah. Let's talk about last year ulikuwa I think last year ndio ulilaunch. Yeah, nilaunch Kenya Extreme Combat Sports Federation. Na WKF ilikuwa <coughs> WKF ilikuwa WKF ndio nilikuja nayo. Ngoja After, ilikuwa last year ndio ulianza kazi ama ilikuwa the year before. Last year ndio nilianza kazi. Eh, so unaona yeah. mambo yote ilikuwa last year. Yeah. La, last year ndio ulianzindua Extreme Combat Kenya mm-hmm. Extreme Combat. Yeah. WKF ndio pia ratiba rasmi tuliona mambo. Yeah. Ulikuwa na activities nyingi sana. I think na kuru ulikuwa na event mara mbili. Mara tatu. Mara tatu. Yeah. Nairobi ulikuwa na Kangemi. Na nikakuwa na Kayole. Kayole. Sina nikakuja nikakuwa na game pal pal so hizo zilikuwa pia tatu sita ya zilikuwa sita alafu pal pal ulikuwa mara ngapi pal pal nimekuwa pal pal ilikuwa mara moja and then ni sita pal pal ndio vijana walikuwa wamepotea na 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 ring <laughs> eh yeah. so what did you learn nini ambacho ulijifunza z- kutokana na mashindano ama vitu ambazo uliandaa last year ama mwaka jana swali la kwanza ni nini ambacho unaweza sema pia kilibadilika katika ulimwengu wa kickboxing after hizo events okay tunaweza sema ni kuongezeka kwa vilabu cuz uh, kutoka kitambo ningie kickboxing wacha martial arts in general uh, tumekuwa tuna clubs kama tatu mara mingi na zilikuwa hata za shule i think eh, ilikuwa USIU nasikia USIU Rwai ta kids alafu na KDF story imeisha then unapata game tunaweza weka in 2 hours or 3 hours game imeisha but sasa kwa na pia sasa yeye mko hata mnaweka eh ni kwa kama nasema mnaweka alafu aiweku aiweku you see kwa na powers yeah nilikuwa na powers tu za competition sector design nikisema wacha tufanye hivi inafanywa si kama saa hizi nikisema itawekwa lazima nitangangana iweko so nimelearn ya kuwa vijana wanapenda hii game huko nje ni wengi sana ambapo kama tunaweza waandalia game mob si lazima kwa game peke at uh, bora any event ikwe seminar ikwe nini tunaweza waelekeza kwa mwelekeo unafaa wa who sports cuz nina ninakumbuka vizuri nilikuwa na target ni kuwe pia nyanza ni kuwe coast lakini unaona hizo vitu zilikuwa mingi sana nilikuwa na nini ya juu sana maini yenye aingeza kunini then pia another thing without sponsors for sure saa zingine inakuwa ngumu cuz unataka kwenda safari unarudi kwa mfuko jukaa hizo vitu zote niliandaa mpaka hizo kwenda safari na kuru wapi hizo zote ni kuwatumia pesa za mfuko wangu mimi mwenyewe nikibeba watu nafikiria vile nataka kuwalipia vile wanaenda officials wengine lazima pia wasimamie acha nikuulize Uh, tukiwa na mazungumzo na yeye pia mwaka jana ulikuwa unajaribu pia kusukuma sukuma a few uh, government organizations ulikuwa unajaribu hata nakumbuka kuna wakati nadhani Nairobi County uliwa sijui kama ulifanikisha ku mm. ulikuwa unajaribu pia kumtafuta governor kuwa sukuma wakuje pia kwa sababu ni vitu ambazo zina empower community kama ni Nairobi yeah. kama ni Nakuru kama ni wapi any ilikuwa successful haikuwa cause ama wanasemaje okay kitu ilifanyika yeah. siku approach kwa okay. saa zingine pia mwao unaanga hivi kabla aanze ku approach tengeneza brand kwanza hii maneno ivane ina tekiji time kweli cause utapata kuna vizuizi venye viko pale kuna brokers pia wataka kwenda pale mbele kumuona governor inakuwa ni hivi kuna watu pia wanataka kutumia WKF kupata approval ya hela lakini hawataki hizo hela zifanye kazi ya okay so na mimi sipendangi hivyo sana mimi upendaga nikiona hii kitu tanizuia na sita make it naona anga eri ni ende my own way so hiyo ndio maana siku approach so vitu zote nilifanya na namna zangu zote zote zenye uliona nilifanya tu na namna zangu. Takid, ni, ni nini ambacho kinaweza kufanya wewe baada ya tuseme umeugua, umepitia changamoto kadhaa kwa mwezi ama miezi? Ni, ni nini ambacho huwa kinakupa nguvu ya kutaka kurudi na kwa sababu kwa mfano e, mtu anaweza kuugua alafu uone pia wale ambao mnafanya nao hawana shughuli na kitu ambacho mlikuwa mnafanya hata biashara, alafu unaweza sema then haina haja nirejee 
wacha nikae ni kishapona ama kishapata nafuu niende angazie mambo mengine ambo labda ndayafanya na mtu mwingine ama ndayafanya peke yeah. yangu <coughs> lakini we unarejea unachangamsha ama unachemsha damu unazungumza na watu na unataka kurejea ama kurejesha WKF mahali ambapo uliachia mwaka jana ama ambapo mlifungia mwaka jana hii ni nini ambacho inakufanya wewe unataka kufanya hivyo uh, ama kuna hela mahali unapata na utuambii ah uh, bro pinches kumbuka hivi nilikwambia ga hivi kutoka oh. ni kwa miaka kumi na miwili nikianzia martial arts sijaifanya kitu kingine na from the age of 17 ni kwa national team ya taekwondo na nianze kupata mihela at least uh, hata kani ile kidogo mimi sijaiandikwa mimi kitu nafanya ni martial arts in general ndio umekulia ndio nakulia na ndio nimekulia na ndio nimelea nao hata familia so hakuna kitu kingine naweza fikiria tofauti na hata kama kuna investment investment yangu itakuwa tu ina uso fitness so ni nini imekufanya basi unataka you just want to come back because in the field yangu hakuna kitu ni kama past hata like shugua, this is what you know to do hii ndio unajua kufanya na huko tayari we unajua tu hii eh nitakufia eh. kwa hii ah yes. hiyo ndio kitu naweza sema then we don't hata deserve hata sasa uniite uniite please ka gani mm. mi nitakufia kickboxing mpaka siku umai jaribu hizo ma countries zenye zina michezo inalipa si ujaribu uende eh unajua <laughs> Kenya ni nchi nzuri yes. ah wapi ah, ah, ni nchi nzuri inalingana na wewe unaiona juu pinches yeah. kutoka ni grow mpaka sasa hizi kwa nimefikisha miaka zangu nadhani niko kati kati ya age yenye iko karibu kuisha huko juu ngoja wewe mm. umekaa hiyo miaka yote mm. ni nini kizuri na usianze kutuambia Kenya is peaceful oh <laughs> ni nini umekaa hapa Kenya ika kufanya useme Kenya ni nchi nzuri. Uh, peace kitu ya kwanza. Peace ni ama. Ah anaanza umeniuliza unajua ah, fight ni Uganda kuna peace. Kitu ya kwanza ni peace. Cause without peace without <laughs> peace hauwezi fanya anything. Hauwezi eh. hata manuva popote. Without peace hata singeza kwenda hiyo na kuru, singeza kwenda wapi. But mzee unajua kwa nini nakuuliza hivi? Mm. By the way it's yet ni banta or anything. Mm. Mimi nime interact na wana michezo wengi sana na si wame na michezo pia watu kwenye uongozi I've seen fans frustrated online kama sasa hii kuna frustration kubwa sana kutoka kwa mashabi kuhusiana na Kenya Rugby Union mm-hmm. I don't comment not because sina opinion but because najaribu kujiweka nime one nimechoka complain two najaribu pia kufiga out mbona vitu ziko hivyo kwa sababu mimi wanajiuliza ndio ifike hii level like imagine wewe kwako kwa nyumba fitina zako na bibi yako sasa imagine ndio jirani apate kuzijua mm-hmm. lazima zitolewe ni nini imefanya we umeshindwa ku <coughs> kila kitu mpaka yani jirani ni example kwa sababu kama kwenye familia kuna vi- we uko mni mtu ambao uko kwenye familia kuna vitu hata mnakorofishana na bibi lakini mgeni akija mnapiga tabasamu mgeni hata ajui mmekorofishan lakini ah napiga tabasamu akishaondoka mna reset mnarudi pale pale inaitwa inaitwa ina, ina, ina hata kunye, kuna wimbo inasema mkikosana na mtu ambaye ni rafiki wa karibu sana siri yake mlindie yani siri ni kitu unalinda na siri ni mabaya ambayo una, unajaribu kuya lakini sasa fikiria kwa nini WKF kwa mfano siri zake zile za ndani kwa sababu kila mtu ana kuna kila mtu kila organization kuna siri za ndani na ile siku zinafikia huku nje inamaanisha then it is very bad yeah ndio ifike kwa mashabi kuona ni mbaya hey my friend it is very 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 bad yeah, that's true. kwa sababu normally federation kuna mabaya ambayo watu wajui yeah. kama sasa hii nikikuuliza anything bad about Kenya Hockey Union you never you don't know yeah yes dude but it doesn't mean hakuna vitu mbaya lazima hiyo ukienda kwa watu wa hockey watakwambia hey wapi huko ni kubaya but sasa fikiria ndio ifike to the level ya mashabiki tu wa michezo wajue ni kubaya how bad is it so mi wana kaa hivi kama nikiangalia au mazungumza naanza kujiuliza yao maswali alafu na, na, na jiuliza kwa sababu pia un, a, a, niko na 
na nashukuru Mungu kujuana na watu kwa sababu pia kama wewe kukujua kama sasa hivi nikiona habari kuhusiana na WKF lazima nita reach out kwako nita reach out kwa mtu mwingine nita reach out kwa watu kadhaa nipate kusikia wanasema eh nani na hii story da afu utaniambia kwa nini iko hivyo ama kwa nini imechapishwa hivyo ama watu wanasema hivyo alafu hiyo itanisaidia pia mimi kujua kutumia ile inaitwa intelligence yangu kuona ni which is true mm -hmm. so unazungumza na watu ambao wako katika nafasi za kubadilisha michezo alafu mimi sijaenda shule kusomea michezo I'm, i am not a professor i have the only knowledge i have ta kid ni my experience nikiwa mchezaji nikiwa mtangazaji kuzungumza na washikadau na kujaribu pia kujua huko ambapo inafanya ni nini ambacho inafanya ifanye sawa sawa kama hiyo hata sijasafiri sija hata sana but nakaa tu hivi najiuliza why would keep vard perform well in africa cup of nation why would keep vard be an african powerhouse within that short time ni nini ambacho wanafanya hakifanyiki yeah. kwa nini south sudan ambao ni nchi ambayo even stability hawako sawa hawana hata hiyo piece umesema but national teams zao basketball wako wako fiba afro basketball football, 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 yeah. football under 20 yeah, iko afcon yeah. national team yao iko wapi iko wapi what is working there then hiyo sasa ndio mimi napiga investigation tu yangu alafu najaribu kuchanganya changanya hiyo ndio maarifa pekee mimi ninayo lakini kuna wakati unazungumza na mshikadao kwenye federation fulani ama kwenye klabu kwenye nini alafu wewe unabaki unajiuliza mbona yeye ambaye ako na a lot of knowledge a lot of experience hafikiri vile mimi nafikiria then probably ile part ulikuwa umesema ya kuna cartel kuna greed greed inaingia kwamba hata mimi naweza kuwa na mawazo mazuri but with time greed ingie eh nini nyingine naweza ingia hapo hizo all the bad hizo vices zianze kuingia zi poison zile <coughs> philosophy mingi niko nazo hii poison zianguke hiyo ndio kitu inafanya nikwambie kama unaweza pata opportunity elsewhere okay naweza kujibu hivi uh, number one kama size WKF bado ina rangos zote reason ni nini <laughs> kuna pesa basi sasa hata mimi siko na focus eh, na WK anasema example focus yangu ilikuwa na, like imagine your input kwa extreme sports yeah. is so much yeah. ndugu yangu kwa very passionate mimi nimekuona unalipia watu mpaka fair team ati wasafiri mpaka na kuru hiyo like, passion inaweza niuma sana kama one day itaenda two into hakuna mm. kitu hakuna recognition itapata na ndio maana nime, nimekujibuaje yeah si banduki hapo ndiyo niko na kuna question umeuliza vizuri sana unajua hata bado naweza kuwa kiongozi wao na si lazima niwe Kenya naweza kuwa niko Australia naweza kuwa niko US na bado na watafutia sponsorship huko au wakiendelea anga huku nachukua vijana wengine bado nawapeleka pia wapi juu kama saa hizi umeuliza swali nzuri sana uh, kickboxing saa hizi ukiingia South Sudan wana wachezaji wazuri sana. Aha. Kienda Uganda wana wachezaji wazuri sana. E Uganda kwanza wana take up hizi extreme sports sana, very serious. Sana, sana. Uh, kitu naweza sema kwa size mimi nasimanga kila siku siezi blame uh, gava kitu ya kwanza. <coughs> Ukitaka kuendelea gava kuja dakika ya mwisho I think unaelewa hivyo. Kama game yenu haiko All African Games, haiko Commonwealth, haiko Olympics obviously unataka hata uliona ilisemekana uh, ni last year walisema kuna games zenye watakuwa na support si kila kitu Lakini, na pia wao champions sasa hapo mbi uh, si eti si nataka ku blame the eh. government but nasema mm. uh, pia uh, as, as the government is much you see mm. uh, takid the w w most african countries ni kupe for example in football when they were successful was only because the government of the day ili la la input a good example is unaona <coughs> as much as people wanaweza ongea vitu mbaya kuhusu Mobutu Seseko the, in 1970s huko Zaire was a very big powerhouse in fact it was the first african nation to qualify for the world cup before 
Nigeria. Before Nigeria, before anyone. Uh, now we qualify Zaire and Haiti. They were the only black nations. Wow. And and that team it was so successful in Africa front because I think they won the Africa Cup of Nations in this period. Because of the input of Mobutu. I think that there was a story that the people who were in the World Cup were like, what is it? 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 Like he was invested in sports. Go to Nigeria. When Nigeria had the Olympics, they had to do Vizuri and everything was because of the government inputs. Mm -hmm. Now you can do that upate so many African countries that yeah. were successful because of your government input. Mm -hmm. You see, unfortunately, kwa African setups and sports, mm -hmm. we have a long way to go compared to uh, maybe Europe na America. We have a, yeah. a long way. And that's why we have to do with your governments. Which sometimes pay kujipoa. You see, my biggest issue with government, especially Kenya, Hawaii. Uh, now we are getting, getting up for AFCON 2027. Now, Staki conversation at Iswe away from World Kickboxing Federation. But it's just any time to have conversation about input is a different Sports. stakeholders. Like, for example, now we are in Uangalia. Because we are, we are preparing for AFCON 2027, focus on yeah, not just government many organizations you would say that kenya is a very big football powerhouse and that's why we are only focusing on football ni ulize swali ni kujibu one sai cs ababu most of the time utamuona launching something about football or the world rally championship na nilikuwa before ungesema nikuwa kuongelea the same thing unaongelea hizo ndio vitu utamuona yeah Uta umai muskia kionge anything about basketball. Uh -huh. But the Kenyan Morant team walikuwa menda qualify as a FIBA Afro basketball. Walikuwa me donate your kids na CS wa, wa IT. Eli Doalo. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to go into details. Kujua kama ke Kenya Bo Bucks Basketball Federation ilipewa pesa ya kutravel. Si hitaji. From the PR enye tu nimeona tu yenye. Hata kama nimepita tu gazeti hivi. That would tell me how much the government in in my invest into that sport but is basketball has basketball had the potential to be a great sport for kenya we have seen it over time mademo wa kenya wa basketball wakifanya poa you have seen the morans wakifanya poa kwa basketball sawa sawa mm. move over what has the government done to for volleyball but volleyball where at you mejua volleyball for so long mademo amekuwa kifanya poa na perform vizuri sana vizuri sana vijana wetu vijana wetu walijaribu once through Sydney GSU i love badaika ika katika tu hivyo vijana wetu wame represent paka wakatuletea cup kama hii last year ili ni udhi sana walete hiyo cup Hawa kuchukuliwa na government officials. So, ata... Hawa kupatua any token. Yeah. Alafu wanarudi kasarani kwenda kutrain kasarani. Wanachajiwa it watuwa 8,000. But that day, unasikia walienda waka tafta maali, waka inventu vitu zao, wakaanza kutraini hapo. Mpaka waka urumi wa sti na nani. No, mini mai enda hata kasa. Mai enda hadi kasa, sti mai kazimu. Like at the time. Time imeisha. <laughs> time imeisha. Na saizo kasa ni ya nini? Kasa, wacha ni kwambie kitu. Na hii ni kitu ninazidi kusema na nilianza hiyo vita pia Dandora na um, easy recreational activity centers kama hizo mahali tunatumia. Siku hizo wameziweka zikweza church sana. No, hizi I... vitu ni za youth. Unapata ma youth wanaanza kutrain hivi wanaambiwa endeni mtrain nje hata kama mvua inanyesha. Ama unasikia wanaambiwa mnajua ni nini? Time imeisha. Hata hata mm -hmm. good example ilikuwa unaona hapa kuna time kulikuwa pia na vita hapa Ruiru Stadium which is not actually a stadium ni ka, ni tough to let's not ni kama hii ya Kiambu eh, ah no Kiambu is even Kirigiti imetengenezwa squeeze Kirigiti, Kirigiti iko afadhali <laughs> Kirigiti is a stadium but not international lakini sio stadium pia bado according to me eh ah iko sawa hiyo Ruiru ukienda hata uifai kuisema stadium which is actually the governor Kiambu county hiyo stadium iko in very bad state hata tuone kasa hii hata itengeneza kwa zote za Kiambu hata hii imekuwa sio imekuwa siju mara tenda nini siju imefika wapi but kuna time kulikuwa na 
Ruiru actually host mm -hmm. a lot of events za uh, maybe gospel artist, pastor flani, wasani, wanakuja yes, Thanksgiving, yeah. wanaletanga huko. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I remember kuna time kulikuwa na vita ya kama event itaikuwa kwa stadium ndani ama nje. Sasa so, unakaa hivi unajiuliza priority ni nini? First of all, hii kitu imetengenezwa ya Mhm. Mm sports. Kasarani ni ya sports. So whether sije pastor mgani atatoka wapi siku gani if kuna sports ilikuwa scheduled for that day hapo hakuna vile but unajua anasema nini sports are let it go na ile let it go kwa nini waja invest kwa hiyo sports waja invest na waja panga vitu za tutengeneze ya stadium yes lakini kama hakuna events na kama hakuna events zinalipa wachezaji na pia kuwa peleka internationally bro hakuna kitu tunaweza make let me, let me ask you let, let me ask you yetu ni kama hata mm. iruchukue gormai aweke hapo iende cheze game let me ask you a question ndio mm. tutoka kwa hiyo conversation tufunge hapo i have seen people say that online to athletic kenya iko na capability ya kukuwa na stadium yao kenya rugby union wako na capability ya kukuwa na stadium yao football kenya federation ivo we una run federation how how tough is it for a federation um, I, i know some of them kama fkf wanapata pesa kutoka kwa international bodies kuna hizo do wanapata anga grants which probably yao inaweza wa enable uh, kuwa na hizo stadium kenya rugby union i'm not aware kama wanapata a lot of funding kutoka international world rugby i don't want to touch on that same as athletic kenya i will not also, also want i know okay. they get a few sponsors okay. But see is that But for WKF to say for example to have your own infrastructure. How tough is it in Kenya? Ni tough okay. Sana kikujibu na yetu kwanza yetu ni tough cuz uh, number one, bado okay tunajijenga. Number two, tuna sponsors. Alafu sasa wacha nirudi kwa Athletics. The reason why naweza sema pia mtu aseme Athletics Kenya inaweza kuwa na yao. Watu wanaona Athletics Kenya ina pesa. Si the federation ni individuals wakiona kipchoge amenda ameangukia mamita huko mm. waone kipkegon nani sawa na dani yani kama wachaga na hiyo ak wewe umesema wkf mko mm. wageni so inaweza kuwa ngumu for you yeah. but imagine we have had boxing federation of kenya hiyo <laughs> ni hiyo ni mgeni kweli boxing pia hata ina yao Awa, but hawana wa combo wa gering in fact yeah. halls iko yes but we don't have anything tunaweza sema ni ya boxing federation of kenya nimepata like point yako inafaa tukue na kama place chata hall is quite in nairobi yes. county this is the center for boxing federation na of kenya point yako ni kama sasa ukienda maju manchester kama ni field yao na ni area yao watu yeah, wanajua ile town ya... inaitwa old trafford yes. ni hapo na wako mpaka kama, na, kama eh. ni carlington ni mahali pa yes. kusein ina mean hiyo training you see countries kama Morocco unaanza kuona wana invest kwa hizo spaces kwa sababu they have realized sports size kuingia tu kwa uwanja there is so much science yeah. so kama ni WKF wewe unahitaji kuwa na center yako yenye kama mimi ni researcher na kuja nafikiria how do we make the game more safer for maybe kids for this for this for this for this mwingine kama ni msewa media how do we make communication ni nini ni ya W tuko na center where we can exchange yeah, those ideas true. So how is it tough because would you say ni tough ama tu ni initiative haiko kwa sababu we have for you for WKF you are relatively young second year but for other federations you may come for long but at jona hizo initiatives uh, ni leadership bro sponsors za zingine wanakuja on board na wacha nikwambie ukweli uh nitakupata example na uh, uh, ni KRU Kenya Rugby Union na siji kwa ni utaki guzwe sana but nitaiguza tu kidogo Kenya Rugby Union imekuwa na bahati sana kwanza hao hata wanaweza try watengeneze ile nini yao ya pale Ngong Road unaona mm. na ikuwe nzuri hata zaidi wajo pia inakuanga na shida eh, mara zi naoniwa yeah. na nani Haya. like it's not hiyo number one. one number two kumbuka kama kuna federation ilivuma na ikapata sponsors wengi mwaka like three years back i think so no na this is three years Niyawa, i think adu. back in the kuna time mm. you remember kuna time kwa Kenya Airways ilikuwa on board si kuna, kuna time si KBL walikuwa on board wote na Kenya Rugby lakini leadership ndio naribingi vitu 
Kwa hizi mtu anaenda pale anaona ameambiwa okay um, naweza kutafuta field mahali juu. Wangi kwa shata jiba ya mahali kwani ni pesa ngapi? Kenya yao hizo nadhani sponsorship yao ilikuwaaje? Ukirudi KBL wana sponsor vizuri. Rudi tena Safaricom. Hizo zenye nimetaja ni zile kubwa vizuri. Basi unaona lakini hata ni watetee kidogo kwa si watetee ati juu nasema pesa ilikuwa spend well. Mm -hmm. Issue pia maybe inaweza kuwa KRU ilikuwa imeapprochaa watu kufanya nini? For example, there's a time Safari Committee kuna sponsor the National Seven Circuit. Wajua pesa ya sponsor tena uwezi anza kutoa kwa kama wewe umeo ni approach yeah. wanaka ni sponsor sevens. Si nime sponsor. Sasa tena uwezi anza kuchukua hii milioni nimeleta kwenda siju ku invest. Yeah, sponsor si atasema, "Ah no, mimi nilikwambia uweke budget iliyeko." Ah, KBL I think with Tusk ilikuwa ni Kenya 15s. So hapo kulikuwa na hey, seven ilikuwa gana nini sana sana ah no seven ilikuwa ni safaricom ikatoka safaricom ikakuja stanbic ikakuja kbl haikuwa nao eh hey, kuna time wame sponsor yeah, sana eh, but yes. so unaona hiyo ni season ni yeah. kama hii season what i would say kbl has been a kbl has been a good part yeah. of our rugby because you are sharing and everything but my issue might be walipa walikuwa na chance ya kupata pesa hata sport pesa walikaa mwaka wa pea pesa mingi mm -hmm. but maybe hiyo hiyo moment when they were walikuwa hapo they never bothered to approach someone to help them now build a performance center hata si stadium just a high performance center yenye if I'm a national if I'm contracted by the national team naweza enda nipige mazoezi which kama we kama WKF unaweza fikiria hiyo avenue yeah in future you might have centers high performance center any anyone who is just contracted is a past and that's my plan yeah and that's ana my come, plan ana 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 kipata two fields ndogo mahali that's mm. my plan right now me na zataka two ring inaikwa katikati viti vingine ziko pale kando na itakuwa tu ya WKF cuz kumbuka sisi ni Kenya Extreme Combat Sports Federation boxing kickboxing taekwondo so watu wa taekwondo wakiwa na game yao tuna host hiyo area yetu. Watu wa boxing wakiwa na game yao hiyo area yetu. Unaona vitu kama hizo hiyo ndio target yangu lakini ndio hiyo ikuje yeah. ni sign kipata sponsor ni ukweli tu ni kuwa direct ni mwambie kama ni huyu wa ring na mwambie mimi nataka kama ni usi... kama ni wa kiwanja yeah, na mwambie yeah. mimi nimepata hapa Kiambu road ama nimepata Ruai na pia na pia unajua lazima locally tuangalie kwa hizi sports wezi enda nje sana yeah. so naenda na mwambia nimepata kiwanja mahali na ni do fulani naenda lipe lakini pesa si mchezo akuja nipatie ndi 50m takid endo tafute hiyo uwanja endo tafute ring nini kuna mahali sasa hapo ndiyo adi officials wenye sijai kuwa nao wataingia yeah. na hapo ndiyo advices zitaingia na hapo ndiyo utasikia utaanza kuja hapo wewe mwenyewe sasa utaanza kuniingilia ni ukiwa tu hapa sasa unaniambia au utaniuliza hizo maswali tu kismaili takid 50 ml toka imeenda wapi sound tianze nini mpate kumbe 45 yote takid aliweka magari kwa barabara alianza kufanya biashara change na hii pesa ilitolewa jia mayuth hiyo pia imechangia cause na hii ndio inafanyika kwa federations zote sita yeah. kunda yeah. pesa inatoka but taekwondo vita yenye inakuaga huko ni kubwa sana reason ni nini kuna kuna kitu kitamu inatokea na ukiona kwenye kuna vita by the way kuna, kuna mazuri kitu. kuna pesa eh kuna pesa na ndio maana nimekwambia hivi hizi zingine zenye bado but hii maanishi kwenye hakuna vita hakuna pesa uh, eh mazee kwenye kuna pesa ndio kuna mdomo mazee mdomo mingi sita kudanganya ni kama misa hizi isikike tu sponsor ametokea hata wenye watakuja kuniongelesha watatufanya hivi na hivi wako wengi. Then utapata vizuri sana hapo ndio tutaanza rangles. Juu anataka hivi, huyu anasikia eh nani walikula hivi. Yeye ndiye atakuja at asnitch alikuleta report e pinches. Kwa news semeni hivi na hivi akitatakidi wamekula hivi ni inakuwa gatu hivyo. Mm. So mimi naweza sema ni leadership na kama unataka ufanywe kitu kizuri na siku hizi hata stakeholders wengi nimewakuja kuona hivyo. Siku hizi ukienda ku approach hawakuulizi pesa. Wanakuza unataka kusaidiwe na nini. Ukisema unataka gloves, headgears nini ndio zinaletwa. Mm. Na mimi na, 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 na prefer hiyo sana by the siku yeah. ganyi. Kushinda pesa pesa. pesa. Hata wewe saizi nikuja tu nikwambie pinches. Hii iko hivi. 
utakoshaza kufikiria ile shamba yangu ijaisha ile nyumba sijamaliza kujenga bali nafikiria kuhusu watu pia so ndio so what what would you do to remain rooted wewe ndio hiyo pesa piece kuje yaribu maneno mimi nimekwambia tu vizuri mimi nikipata ta sponsor size ni tuseme tunafanya meeting kitu inazisaidia WKF yeah nitakuwa nimeenda nikiwa already na budget yangu na niko na hizo vitu zenye ye mwenyewe anaenda analipa takid hiyo ndio nazasema 2024 yeah. uh, seeing you here inamaanisha now you are back na ready to roll Uh, what's up plans hii mwaka cuz najua kuna watu wengi sana wanauliza so uh, hii mwaka for WKF na Kenya Extreme Combat uh, plans zangu ni games zianze lakini vitu zitaanza mei yeah sasa hii nimeanza tu na kuonyesha watu wambak waone face yangu na wajue na pumua na niko tu sawa kweli na mambo inaweza endelea then another thing uh, hiyo uh, mei atutaanza vigorously eti na ma games vile uh-huh. nataka tuanze na grading ya national watu wako na mishi because kama last year yote games zimekuwa seminars zimekuwa lakini belt grading ya kuonyesha umefika kiwango fulani hatujaikuwa nayo so kickboxing belt ni ni the same tunaiza kina taekwondo karate kama wewe unakuanga holder okay mi mi hata ni ngumu ku explain na kwa holder nini cause ni kwa hizi martial arts zote niko na hizo ma black so hata si explaining mm. nasema anga tu nimefika hiyo level yenye na feel niko black ndio ya juu kabisa black ndio ya juu lakini sasa kama taekwondo kuna first dan dan ni korean word meaning degree kuna ah. second dan paka ninth dan so huko ah. ndio sometimes anaweza kuwa sasa ni grand master unaweza play kwa game nyingine lakini wewe si ni kid master mimi ni kid master lakini sasa kickboxing But kumbuka pia hizi belts zinakuaga hiyo ni material. Belt iko ndani yako. Cuz kama mimi nakumbuka nikifunza watu zi uniform yangu ya taekwondo, belt, hizo vitu zi nilipelekaga wapi? Mimi sijaienda nifunge belt mbele ya mtu ndio sana nimfunze au nini? Anafunzwa. Na vaa vile nimevaa hivi nafanyisha class. Cuz hizo vitu zilinitoka kwa akili. But how but culture wise has it, do they have that deep meaning hadi saa hii ama inakuanga tu uh, kitambo tulikuwa kwa movie tunatambua ni kitambo hata yeah. mbisi alisema belt material bana ni kama vile alisema hata ukiona mtu anapiga bag hadi ratingika bag si binadamu imesimama mm. vile uliona jamaa akivunja board bruza akamwambia boards don't hit back alikuwa anamaanisha binadamu naye hautampiga tu hivyo ni mtu ana move. Sio tena ana vile wa react. Binadamu ana move. That's one of the best line nimepata nayo hii week. You can't teach people how to react. <laughs> <laughs> like so, hiyo hiyo imenifunza so much. Yeah. Yaani wewe unaweza sasa hivi naweza toka hapa niende nipige ngure kofi mwelekezi wangu. Na unajua anaweza miss. But sijui Kenya atanifanyia. Ata miss cuz yeye yeah. yeah, si bond. <laughs> yeye si bugget imehangiwa pale. Kwa hivyo usione madonga nilopiga yeah. bag kama vile best yangu jamaa mwenye na mwenzi sana na na like sana ameinu Afrika oh. vizuri uh, ngano ukiona vile alikuwa na train na alafu hizo muscles ungemcompare na Anthony Joshua ungejua yeye Joshua talala yeah, but alikuwa ni kaoni ni kanini yeah. so ile ni bug Joshua alikuwa na ngoja alikuwa sema hata atakujua ka Joshua kona nini yake akona jo eti ananga na kumbe ni yake ndio Joshua alikuwa anajua kwenye hiko atafuta alipigwa so alipigwa round ya yeah, tabi so hapo ndio na try kuambia hivi Joshua alikuwa na move tuseme tu ni kama ni kama any other sport hata mm. ball kuna sana so kujanga training ni wakali mm. hata kuna time Chelsea walikuwa na keeper fulani alikuwa anaitwa Kepa alikuwa mkali training lakini game day kichungi <laughs> ni kwa ball okay any sports <laughs> or any art ah, use manga yo. chenye mupenda yeah. ni mtu ana entertain na mimi najua nisiguze watu wako ni kama kitambo kwa ni wewe wa Chelsea kitambo ah yeah. by the way miss kwa ngine shake on them si fan but kiki. najua hizi vitu cause mimi mtu mwenye niko na enzi kitambo unaona Ronaldinho skills zake 
na kumbe hata bado yeye alipasa some nini uh, teachings to Messi ndio maana unaona kama Messi vile dribble lakini is kuna street food ukirudi Kenya ukirudi Kenya pia yeah. not, not Kenya uh, Africa cheki JJ Okocha ndio alikuwa mchezaji na ball eh hey. so mimi upenda ball hiyo design ndio maana ukiniwekea Messi na ndio maana nimekuambia mapema ni siku ingilie labda siji mtu wako ni hali lakini ukiniwekea Messi na uniwekea Cristiano Cristiano ni power Messi ni entertainer. Eh hey, but sasa so ndio maana mimi naanza sema that Messi is the best. So hata kwa game yetu <laughs> unajua ni entertainer than ah, we. Yeah, usuna entertainer alafu una, una score. Ah, we, what, Messi yeah. entertainer na score. Cristiano naye akipata ball apige chombo huko. Mimi maji na sasa ni entertainer miaka ngapi? Okay, Messi si watch his ball by the way. <laughs> me I would rather <laughs> ni kuje Kenya basi kan coach ball eh. ni support watu wetu cuz mimi nasikia kama mnapiga kelele eh man you mpaka wengine wanakula pili pili bana eh. and yet saa zile game za Kenya zinachezwa hapa hata Harambe Stars kujaza tu mazi stadium bana tukawa support si tunaenda inafaa tuna wa support tu, bana hiyo sio vizuri njoo eh. tu support support our own sasa tukitoka kwa field ya sports pekee tuingie kwa entertainment yote juni talents tuna support angalia, goja angalia hata music no, yetu no. mazee kuna musicians wazuri bana lakini acha pia mi unajua leo leo ndio mi wanaitangwa aje mi ndio devils advocate leo you see also pia sisi kama sportsmen let's package things ikaepoa wezi niambia you see why do people watch kenya umesema over kina IPL. Eh, Unajua ni nini? Wewe ulikuwa wakifanya packaging yao hizo miaka zote mpaka wakafika hapo. Si hata nyinyi pia msupportie yenu uji package kuje kwa chio But hakuna kitu poa takid kama kuna effort. Unaona kama wewe ni effort. For example, na hii si eti natumie to be anyone for football Kenya Federation Premier League online kuna mafans wamefanya kazi poa sana wanajitanga football KE. Mm-hmm. Ukienda tu Twitter unaweza taka kuenda game your conversation wana have uko mm-hmm. na mimi naongea from perspective ya anyone who doesn't know Kenyan football like nikiwa tu Twitter na sijui anything about Kenyan football how these guys wana banter na wanaongea i would be interested kwenda hizo game but you see hiyo ni initiative ya fans so what about the federations are they doing anything to sell aya, the game aya, ni sawa ha umesema vizuri man you Chelsea, Arsenal, hizo zote zitaje, Liverpool. Ni watu wa gani wanazifanya ngazi endele zaidi? Wote from uh, no. Na najua no, no. management pia huko iko sawa. Goja, goja kwanza. Lakini how many adverts? How many adverts umekama cross za EPL? Mhm. Adi hata sitaki useme. Sitaki useme super okay. sport hizo okay. stations okay. za huko zenyewe zina ziko na rights locally. Ndakubaliana na wewe by the way. Anything utaona ukitoka sasa hivi tu uende tao utapata na advert ya IPL mahali ama utaisikia mahali kama ni matisho zao utazipata huku na nini so then compare with ours uspoenda twitter upate mafans wakiongea huko ama i don't know kama facebook kuna hizo spaces ama watch on the spot hapa tukiongea kwa local 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 sports then probably we, you see no one is investing money ku promote hizo vitu if we do that bro ai tutapata tuta dogo angalia tizeni even mazee. hata toka kwa ligi yeah. harambe ikicheza isipokuwa poster utapatana nayo online from the relevant hizo nini sasa unaona vile goru angalia kwa nini goru inasikikaga mafans na vile pia wanapanga vitu zao na pia for reality mm. check gori imeenda chini yeah. in terms of fan base there was a time gori liko inajaza so but unajua imeenda chini ama mafans gori me maintain saa hii ni wale wenye ni active through yeah. ile movement ya twitter otherwise ingekuwa si hiyo movement probably hata gori na yesi wange kuwa na enjoy but you see we need those initiatives za ku za kufanya anyone who doesn't know about local sports atake kuenda even basketball kuna uh, game nyayo fanya kitu yenye itafanya mimi nikikamu nikipanga tu vitu zangu niseme ah badala niende sherehe si niende game nakubaliana na you rugby yeah wakati ilikuwa ina wika ilikuwa ni hiyo packaging na kuambia mpaka unasa hata mtu alikuwa anakuuliza kuhusu safari 7 nakumbuka mpaka rugby ndio ikuje ku haribika jina kidogo ilikuwa masaku masaku 7 yeah juu watu walikuwa kama saa hizi umeongea kitu kuhusu safari rally saa hizi hebu ona 
watu wanaenda juu ya how many adverts unapatana tu hiyo tu hiyo na ni adverts ngapi unapatana nazo za WRC saa hii loko ukiwatch tu tv utaona eh something gurumisha eh hivyo so takid mimi nataka uende Tumeana. leo sitaambia watu tumeanza kwa mingi yeah. no which is okay pia but i think pia mm. wewe nimeona tuna have tunaweza have sit down we just talk about <laughs> sports yes yeah, okay unajua mmoja yeah. watu yeah. as much as niko kwa kickboxing ama ama martial arts you, you also follow another sports but move follow sports zote yeah. kwenye hata kana nakwambia sikwagi fan wa bola ama nini ba tukianza kuniuliza kuhusu bola na mamanager zao na nini nitakupatia information because yeah. because pia you, you, you also learn from um miwaambia mtu doesn't mean that uko world kickboxing federation you know what you learn from any administrative uh, administrative aspect you learn from me inaweza kusaidia ku run any other federation because yeah. yeah. difference ina kwanga kitu kidogo sana Yeah, so hiyo so across the bro. Hiyo ndio maana lazima nijuage sports zetu zote federation zetu zote nime kwa ni follow sana. Yeah. Nijue leadership yao ikoaje. Ni nini naziangusha, nini naziamsha. So hiyo ndio maana lazima ukae ukijua unaweza ulizwa swali ya nini yote na yeah. pia uflow nayo. So kwa saa hizi siwezi ongea kuhusu ma games. Uh, so watu tu wapige. Panga game ndio ndarudi hata date ya a uh, national grading yeah. na nimesema tu ni may yeah. itakuwa Nairobi on. venue mimi yeah. hizo sija specify ni lini basi kiwa ready watakuta ripoti all the best maze and yeah. good to see you back i'm yes. um, hoping for greater 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 year than even 2023 i think 2023 ilikuwa so successful for yeah, you so i'm hoping pia itakuwa even bigger than ndio hii kuwa successful than hiyo yeah itabaki ni sweat hata zaidi kwa zile ilikuwa right Weka ilikuwa bidi. ilikuwa ngumu but ilitoboa nani wewe umesema hii ndio unakulia yeah so sasa ni unakulia ni lazima unaiosha osha lazima so nikiwa na watu kama nyinyi pinches yeah. na kina ngure najua lazima tu eh yeah, si bora ukile siku taomoka ah si nilikwambia nikamoka na mkana nyinyi tupigie simu <laughs> eh sawa <laughs> thanks for the kid nimeshukuru uh, sana mkuu rais wa WKF Kenya Takid Master uh, ambaye amerejea kweli baada ya kipindi kirefu lakini umesikia mambo yamepangwa yamepangika mwezi Mei ndo tunaanza safari sasa ya ratiba rasmi ya WKF Kenya Kickboxing Kenya mambo yanarejea rejea kwa hivyo usiende mbali eh, tokao tulipia kwenye hiki kipindi tunajaribu kukuandalia mambo pia kuku hakisha kwamba tunakukumbusha kwa mambo ya hapo mambo ya hapo